What's up everybody? So in this video I'm going to be talking about the difference between all the wheel cleaners. But first, I'll put the kettle on. Okay, so a general rule in detailing is you always start with the least aggressive product. So we will start with a pH balanced wheel soap. So what is a wheel soap? Well these are a gentle wheel cleaner designed to be used in a dedicated wheel bucket. They come concentrated, you know, just like any other kind of soap or shampoo. These products tend to be pH balanced, which means we do have to explain what pH is. Okay, so back to secondary school science class. I know you might not want to be reminded of them days, but it's relevant. So pH scale, 70 is neutral. Example, distilled water. Acidic, 0 to 6.9. Example, in extreme cases, battery acid. Alkaline, 7.1 to 14. Example, drain cleaner. Basically, the closer we are to this point, which is 7, the safer it's going to be to use on your car. So a wheel soap, is designed to be pH balanced so it sits round about the pH 7. It's designed to be safe so it doesn't harm or kind of reduce the effectiveness of any coatings that you've got on your wheels. So you know because it's not corrosive so it's not going to break down the coating and weaken it over time. Now I would say these types of products are for generally light soiling on wheels that have already been sealed so the dirt isn't going to bond you know, to the surface of the wheel. So uh, basically any dirt that you can wipe off with your finger pretty much. How I like to use these products is uh, generally just squirt a bit into a trigger sprayer and then you can use it kind of as a traditional you know, kind of spray on uh, wheel cleaner. Um, obviously just top up with water uh, to correct dilution uh, rather than just having it in your bucket um, that you know the suds might uh, die off the kind of more you use it and the more dirt goes into the bucket okay so moving on from a wheel soap if that doesn't just quite cut it uh, we will have to move on to a alkaline wheel cleaner which is kind of more for general use and uh, you know heavier soiling so it is over this side of the pH scale. Again, concentrated product, um, you can dilute them to suit the level of soiling on your wheels. Very much a general purpose wheel cleaner as they will clean the majority of brake dust and road grime. So these are kind of the, the go-to product because 95% of wheels and dirt on the wheels you will manage to clean off with this. I tend to use with a foaming trigger as it allows the product to kind of cling and dwell longer on the surface than a liquid that can just run off and uh, dry out quicker. So it just gives a bit better coverage and uh, you also use less product because you're not applying it as a liquid, you're applying it as a foam. So that's how I use it. Um, obviously you can just use a standard trigger sprayer if you prefer. Okay, so if an alkaline based wheel cleaner doesn't shift it, it's time to bring out the big guns. The acidic wheel cleaner. Again, concentrated product, so you will need to dilute it. You have got to be careful with these products. But these are designed for really heavy embedded contamination in the wheel that has, you know, stuck into the clear coat and you want to kind of dissolve it and um, clean it off the wheel. Care must be taken when using these products, so please wear appropriate safety gear. You know, you don't want this uh, getting on your hands or your skin. Um, ideally, uh, you should also wear a respirator mask and goggles because if it gets in your eyes, you know, it's really potent, it can sting it can burn these are corrosive products uh, you don't want to be uh, breathing the fumes in either 
So, you know, just a bit of common sense. Just be a bit careful with these products, but they do have a use, and uh, people seem to run away when you say acidic wheel cleaner, but sometimes they are needed. Because if the only way to clean the wheels is to use this, then you've got to clean the wheel at the end of the day. So, they are a really cracking product if used correctly and at the correct dilution ratios. Now, of course, prolonged use of this product will affect the finish on your alloys and it will kind of dull, dull them over time. So, only use when absolutely necessary and an alkaline based wheel cleaner, a strong dilution just will not shift the brake dust and road grime. Um, as with both the acidic and the alkaline cleaner, uh, it will of course pretty much strip or even weaken if you've got any coatings on your vehicle. Uh, they will withstand chemicals to a degree because um, the people that design and manufacture the products understand that you will be cleaning them. Uh, but with a coating on you shouldn't really need this unless you've left your wheels for months and months and the you know the contamination is just eaten away at the uh, finish and got stuck into the clear coat so don't really need to use this with coated wheels but it is a handy product to have acidic based products will also destroy and eat away at your trigger sprayers you can get dedicated acid sprayers they are quite expensive but if you're using these on a regular basis then i would suggest you invest in one because you're just going to go through standard trigger sprayers so fast um, to help prolong the life of standard trigger sprayers i would suggest you use the product and then rinse the trigger sprayer thoroughly with water just clean water you know to kind of dilute and clean out the the acid that's inside the mechanism so that helps to prolong the triggers because they will get destroyed because this is a corrosive product and that pretty much wraps it up so hopefully now you have a better understanding of the different wheel cleaners that can be used in detailing and uh, let me know in the comments uh, which wheel cleaners you do use what you would recommend uh, as always really good to uh, read your comments and uh, feedback so next up we'll be discussing what the two bucket method is and uh, you know explaining what what it actually means because you know it's thrown around quite a bit the term so we'll uh, go into that but for now take care and i'll see you later